Hey guys, so video vlog number three here. Um, I thought I'd take you guys on tour of the camp, show you around what's going on. Uh, it's late Friday afternoon here, so there's a few classes going on. You get guys can see a little bit of uh, Muay Thai, a little bit of MMA, and uh, just generally what's going on around the camp. Usually a bit busier than a Friday afternoon. I think most people seem to <clears throat> just timmer off sort of towards the end of the week and sort of chill out, but you guys should get a good idea of what's going on. Uh, I've been a little bit sick this week, the last couple of days, so Monday, Tuesday, I went really hard, um, you know, trained quite hard, both days, really, really smashed my body up, training really, really good, and then all of a sudden I just seemed to got sick, uh, like stomach cramps, that sort of thing, don't know if it was anything that I ate or drank, <laughs> I've been drinking bottled water the whole time, eating, you know, stuff that's good, safe places, so it could just be one of those things, seems like a few other people I know have uh, gotten you know, unwell, so just one of those things, I guess. So I've taken the last couple of days in bed just to rest and, and fully recover. Done a little bit of training today, um, sort of getting back. So hopefully over the weekend, take a bit of time off, do a bit of light training and get back hard into it next week. Had some really good classes this week. Um, wrestling, man, loving the wrestling here. Just amazing. Um, just compared to what I'm used to, I guess, getting taught by a college wrestler from um, the States, really technical, really good drills, basics, singles, uh, Russian ties, double legs, just all the stuff is really, really great. Really, really hard training. Um, you know, some really good dudes. Jiu-Jitsu going really well, really big guys, a lot of no-gi, which is awesome. Um, doing a bit of gi with some guys as well, which is great. So yeah, um, here's the tour of the camp. If there's anything you guys wanna know, hit me up, but uh, let's do it. So here we are coming up onto the camp, that's the gate on the right we just passed with the white car. Um, that's the secondary gate that we'll be coming out of uh, on the way out from the camp. So I'm pretty much going around a big circle, like going up through the middle, coming back around and then coming out that second gate. So this is the main entrance that I'm coming up to now. Um, see all the cars parked, got the scooters on the right which usually people rent. So to start off with, we're going to go up through the office and the shop, which is just on the right here. It's where you check in, uh, get all your gear, anything you need, the guys in here will sort you out. So let's go inside and take a look. So we've got the shop on the right. We've got uh, everything you need, supplements, clothes, uh, Muay Thai shorts, MMA gloves, geese. Uh, merchandise, pretty much anything you're going to need the entire time you're there, they can help you out. To the back there we've got the guys in the office, so they're going to help you out with anything when you stay. If you need to pay for extra stuff, you want to go on the big Buddha run, pay to get transport, you want to go to the night market in town, uh, any problems they can help you out, they can book taxis for you, anything you like. Moving through here, we're going to go into the professional Muay Thai area. This is for the fighters, where the guys do the privates and everything like that. So you've got some whiteboards just in front of you as well, which have like camp information or events that are coming up. Um, these guys on the right are, you know, probably professional fighters. You've got a ring on the left. I uh, usually see people doing pretty hard training or privates in this area. 
So if you're like a beginner or maybe like an intermediate Muay Thai, you won't be training here, but it's always good to just chill out and watch some of these guys train. Going up now, we're going up to the grill. So on the right here is the bar where you head up, uh, place the order, what you want, look at the menu, you can buy drinks, get protein shakes, anything like that. And then you pretty much go through to this area here, which is all the seating. Um, there's a TV, playing local television, sports events, you've got free Wi-Fi in this area. Um, pretty much sit down, hang out with your mates, have your meal. You can also watch more of the uh, training that's going on just up the front there. There's another ring, another professional area. So you usually see a lot of guys doing the training, which is pretty cool to watch while you're eating your lunch. Coming through here, we're on the main driveway. So this is where everyone parks their scooters and everything. You can see all the scooters parked there. Heading up, we're just going up to the body fitness area, which also has the octagon. Um, we're going to go off to the left a little bit, which is where all the bungalows are and the standard accommodation. So there's little house hut areas here, bungalows they're called, where we were staying. So we're just coming up onto the body fit area. This is where you do all your um, body fit classes, combat conditioning, Olympic lifting, um, anything to do with like body weight, fitness, all that sort of stuff is done in this area. You can see they've got tires, you've got a big area, lots of weights and stuff like that. Um, you've got your big octagon here, full size octagon, which I guess is where you know a lot of the UFC fighters train. Um, all the guys do their you know professional MMA in the ring there and just get a feel for it, which is pretty cool. Um, this class going on at the moment, I'm not quite sure what this one is because these guys are doing a bit of boxing and stuff. Could be the western boxing class that they have here, I'm um, not too sure. We're just going to head up to the wrestling room now, which is where you do all your MMA, your wrestling, Jiu Jitsu, all that sort of stuff. We've got a pretty strict no filming policy, so we're kind of just going to stick our heads in here and have a quick look, but I can't really hang around, otherwise I might get yelled at. Not quite sure what their no filming policy is about, could be something to do with uh, them not wanting other camps to be able to see what kind of stuff they're training, most likely something like that, but yeah, not allowed to do much filming in there. So that's where, you, you know, I do all my grappling, my wrestling, gi classes, no gi stuff. Coming up to the weights room now, so this is the air conditioned gym. Got a few bikes in here, but pretty much mostly no frills lifting kind of stuff. So coming in, we've got things like a lot of dumbbells, um, a few squat racks, places to do deadlifts, uh, you know, one Smith machine, one or two Smith machines. Not really a lot of assisted stuff, pretty basic, but I mean, probably everything you're going to need to do all your training while you're here at the camp. Heading over onto the left here, we're going to have a look at the uh, beginner Muay Thai area. So if you're just a beginner or you just want to give it a go, this is the area you'll be in. There's a couple of rings, big mat space, um, get pretty big classes here, both morning and evenings. So we'll just stop and have a quick look at this one. So yeah, I mean pretty basic stuff, a lot of single work, not a lot of peer stuff. Uh, once you train there for a while or you sort of shown that you can um, you know handle it they'll move you up to the intermediate area that dude that walked past us just before was talking to a phone that wasn't even attached to anything so I don't know what that was about okay so lastly here we're coming up to the intermediate Muay Thai area on the left so once you've done your beginners, you know, you've done your hand wraps, pad work, with the, you know, drills and things like that, you're going to move up to working with a partner, so you're going to need gloves, shin guards, mouth guards, that sort of thing. Uh, sparring can be pretty intense depending on who you're going to get paired up with. You know, a lot of guys are there to train quite seriously, can be pretty aggressive, so just be prepared for that. Again, the area's pretty big, lots of punching bags, a couple of rings and all that sort of thing. Not a lot of guys there this afternoon, obviously, but uh, during the week it tends to get pretty packed. So we're just about to come out the secondary gate again, back onto the soy, which is the road. 
Uh, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Uh, if there's anything you want to ask me or any areas you want to see more of, just let me know and I can go back with the camera and, and show you around a little bit more. But that's basically the gist of it. Hope it gives you guys a good idea of where I'm training and, and you can see where I am at and everything like that. So yeah, catch you later.